I've made a video that demonstrates some basic glass blowing techniques that would suit someone who has no special equipment. I'll show you how you can use some soft glass tubing to make an ampule and seal something in it using a Bunsen burner and a blow hose. The blow hose is connected to a piece of tubing and I've used a bit of glass but it can be metal so long as it's just a small jet that blows into the base of the Bunsen flame and when you blow into the blow hose it'll make a sharp flame. Okay, the first thing we're going to learn how to do is get a small piece of glass and make a blob on the end of it. We'll use this blob later on as a bit of a tool. So just get it in the flame, maybe use some tweezers to squash it up a bit. But once it's formed a small blob, yeah, or it gets out of shape, you can use your tweezers to push it back to something that looks like something you want and keep control of it. There we go, stretch it a little bit. Shape it. Get it back in the flame, heat it back up again, melt it all in. You should end up with just a little blob, just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to learn is how to cut the glass tubing. Now, all you'll need is a diamond file, a very cheap thing that you can get from any hardware store with a little bit of diamond on it, and that's hard enough to make a scratch on the glass. So with thumb uh, and an opposing finger pressing down on it while you give it a bit of a spin, it should make a nice deep scratch. Give it a twist. So once you've got your glass uh, scratched, you just need to give it a bit of a, a bit of a wet down with uh, a bit of spit. If you saw that on the left of the screen there, it's wet my finger. And now heat the blob of glass up that we've made before. I'm going to get that nice and hot. Because we're going to use that to crack the glass off at the point where we've made the scratch. Now you could just use the scratch we've made and break the glass using the traditional technique, but this technique is one that you get to use for larger diameter glass and will work for borosilicate as well. So it's a good technique to learn and practice. So here I'm just getting it nice and hot. I'm getting ready to press it down hard on the scratch and it should make a crack. Just like that. All we have to do now is pull that off. Uh, it'll come away making a nice clean cut, like that. To make the base of the ampule, we're going to use another piece of glass to help form the closure. We're going to melt the two pieces of glass together and with a little bit of pulling and twisting The glass will melt together and close off the end of that other tube. Now it's going to come to a point. There's a bit extra glass on the tip than we need, but that's alright. We'll pull that off and melt the two bits of glass back a little more. And we'll use our holder once that's gathered up a little more to take off the extra glass on the tip. Rotating both pieces, keeping everything central. So now our ampule base has a nice clean little tip, not too much glass on the end. And now I put it back in the flame and melt it all back in and start to give it a blow, just like that. We're going to do that a few times until there's a, a small blob on the end that has an even wall thickness. 
Once you've reached an even wall thickness, you can press it onto something flat and start to make a flat base. You saw me use a piece of graphite, but a bit of timber with some charcoal on it will work well as a tool also. So there we go, trying it again, we're making a nice flat base, but it's formed a ridge. So if we heat that ridge, we'll flatten that out using our tool. Once again, now that we're flattening it, we're heating behind the ridge and rotating, letting the glass gather a little bit. Roll it to keep it straight. Might have gathered a little bit by now. So if it has started to gather and shrunk in a little, all you need to do is give it a small blow. So I'm heating this up now and I'll give it a give it a bit of a blow as well as a little bit more straightening. There we go, a little bit more of a puff. And now we'll just use some lighter heat now, not so hot. Just enough to give it that last little bit of straightening. There we go, just a little bit of soft heat to anneal it. And that's it. That'll be the base of your ampule. Let's just have a close up of that. All right, so this is the final step where well, we've sealed a little bit of something into uh, the thing that we've made the base on, the little base of our ampule. I've just put a few bits of metal in here. And let's say we're going to seal the top of that to make a proper sealed ampule. Get yourself into position and uh, find a spot that's not going to burn your fingers, really. Just rotate backwards and forwards slowly as you blow. Heat that zone up. And once it starts to really get hot, you can start to pull slowly while you're twisting. And that'll keep the whole thing centered. Now, if you just pull really quickly, it'll just form a big long string. But notice I'm doing this little twist action where I'm spinning the glass around, pulling the string onto the blob. And even though it's made a little bit of a, an uneven blob, I'll just use the tweezers here to pull that end off and uh, clean it up a little bit. Once again, a bit of a twist. Melt that back in really nicely. Now just take it out of the flame gently so it cools down a bit slowly and put it back in the Bunsen to cool Cool down even uh, further back to Bunsen temperatures. And that should be very close to annealed. But that's it. That's all you'll need to do. And have a look at the top there. It's a nice little seal. Shouldn't be any crimps or implosions. And that should be good to go. There you go. How to make an ampule.